Why didn't I die? <clears throat> well, that hole's got... That black thing's got bigger. You find it? Find what? Can't leave till you find it. It's really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya's dead, you're not her. Can't leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? Can't leave till you find it. Tell me. Can't leave till you find it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I've got to find something. Charged, eh? No. Defaced it. Uh, what? Who would do this? Shadow were uh, wow. Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. Oh crap. Uh Tip children who turn trauma into tales, solitude and anxiety in teenage part two. All the teenagers surveyed suffer from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences, and then, interestingly, all of them conceptualize those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed somewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into cherry, beautiful cherry blossoms. Those conven these convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. Interesting insight there. What's this? Well, it's like a deep abyss now. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Oh, hello, buddy. It's in the bag. Okay. 
nothing. <clears throat> Something over there. Let's go check it out. I've already read this. Oh, message. Sorry this for letting it fly, I fell asleep. Like before. Feeling okay? Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. So, is Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please tell me. Still can't believe she's gone either. Wish it was a lie. You seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So my Maya's really dead then, yeah? Anita, are you okay? You get enough sleep? Kinda. Take some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? It doesn't really do much you're to be so honest. Good to me, but you're leaving me behind. <clears throat> I didn't tell you anything. No. All she talked about was a book she read recently. Still, I feel guilty for what happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I, I should have known something was up. What was the book she read? That's what I'd be asking. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? So what did you think of the book? The author killed themselves. They were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I suppose hindsight that's a bit of a red flag. Thoughts in a letter. <clears throat> you really are shy, aren't you? Actually, kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. Doors here. It's all your fault, everything. You are heartless bitch. You stole my friend. My, my place in this world, all of it. And, I, and you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented, you're not special. Look all those shit stains are that. Came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off, 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 fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Got a hater there. Deutschland Medical University School of Medicine. Orientation. Dear incoming freshman, welcome to Deutschland Medical University. Founded in 1709, DMU is one of the Europe's is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. Its state-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details when? September 24th, 2021. 11.30 to 1. School of Medicine Central Lecture Hall. Please wear a mask when attending. This is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Hey, Anita. You got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? 
You seem kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up, don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay, I don't mind. Maybe we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Just my brother's coming here. Alright, you okay? Yeah, just try to avoid him as much as possible. So shopping, yeah? You can find something cute. Nah, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. Nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks, you just need to find the right outfit. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. December 23, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back from Christmas break. He's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I can't stand him staring at me. I know he probably... He was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me can't can't believe other girls walk around school and towns showing so much skin I think I'm finally finding my study groove my test scores are really good I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently though they were yelling at each other again today I asked my mum why but she wouldn't say this is it test day tomorrow mum told me I should be proud of myself since I've worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mum, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mum, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for you, for both you and Dad. Okay, hope she, hope she got it. October 17th, 2020. Finally focus on my studies, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mum and Dad are carrying on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting to my first choice. I've got time to hit the books till morning. Dad was talking today about how much, how there was a plan to rebuild the town. We're going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn the town into something better. But everything got cancelled due to COVID. Sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happen. Even if things hadn't worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city. Where college life is waiting for me. Everyone's riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to get out before my brother comes back. Right. Check out this area. That's everything in it. A lot of reading in this game. <laughs> Got some materials for my first choice in the in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so happy. Still can't believe it. Mum and Dad are going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. Mum and Dad are yelling at each other. They're talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out even without the rebuilding plan? But this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing. No way, don't leave me, Mum. I can't stay here, I can't be stuck here with my brother. Mum just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I have to want to disappear, but where would I go? This is all a bad dream, this is all a bad dream, this is all a bad dream. Only hated the way her brother looked at her. Jeez. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that.
Young student found dead, possible suicide, September 21st, 2021. At around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of Kettenstadt building, uh, apartment building. The girl was rushed to hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later. According to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No notes or diary was found. But police still believe her death may be suicide. Damn. Homily's not like this, though. Right? Well, that was a dead end, so I guess I'm going back. Room. I've been this way, so uh, let's uh, go this way. What's this way? Got some balls. Go the way we've been told. I don't know actually. Can we run? No. Kind of worth it. Got a little bit of content there. Place is pretty creepy. Is this a hospital? That's a school. School. Chill out, kid. Go away! Incoming! Hey, Chaotix. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Come on, sec. Give you a shout out. That's going pretty good so far. <laughs> How was your stream anyway? Oh my god. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. <laughs> Keep meaning to play that. But yeah, I'm liking it so far, this game. Answers round here somewhere. <laughs> we can't get through there, so.
Don't know what's going on here now. Go back. Ah, happy days. Ah, what am I doing here then? Oh, locker. Come across as cocky. Shut your whore mouth. For a free game, this is bad art, really. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> oh damn, that was cool. Frustrating, but good. He's back to stopping one of the bosses then. Uh, we've got a chase coming again. Getting this to the chase. Die at least once on these chases. <laughs> no, flying enemies, they, they do suck, don't they? Me? All right, we're going, we're going. I don't go that way then. <laughs> Not again. Not again. <laughs> yeah, one of them, one of them, she just opened the door and just like like jammed me. Like what in the set in the, in the first like chapter. I ran up to a door, she opened it and got me. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Just run straight on. Oh crap.
Where am I going then? Hey, no worries, mate. What am I supposed you do what you to gotta do. do. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> right. Go straight on. Full switch. Oh crap. What a bloody maze this is. What am I supposed to do here? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, ugh. all right, try again. Bloody maze, this is. Again. Don't run. Got it, we got it. Why are you chasing me? <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. Not again, not again. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Message. Find it. Find what? Find it. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Find it. girl in this picture is Amelie.
This guy looks familiar. Where is he? They're hurt. Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. Only. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> Naya only ever cared about Amelie. No, they seem like real life cutscenes, to be fair. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. 